Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. This video is about a um, River North Condo security guard who got attacked. But the police, they say they have a search on for this man in the video. Take a look at the video footage so you can see how this coward attacks this black woman who is the security guard at this uh, condo complex. And I want you to notice though in the video, I'm going to start at the beginning, but... In this picture, you can see how um, his friends, these are his friends that the camera, uh, Yahoo or someone, um, blotted out their faces. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. I want you to see the video first. But um, the fact that they blotted out their faces is really um, jacked up because they seem to do that when people are white. But if these people were black, they would have had all their faces shown. And, you, and we... We know that. And so when white people come to us and they say, oh, well, what kind of racism is going on? What kind of this and that and all this bullshit? This is yet another example. But anyways, I'm going to show you the video. Search for the man who viciously attacked a security guard in front of a River North condo building. Good evening, everyone. That guard is a student who works that job for a little extra cash. And now she is facing surgery. Eyewitness News reporter Will Jones is live in front of that condo building where the guard was attacked. Will. Ruby, initially she was trying to help the man who appeared to be drunk when she got in return to hits to a face. Tonight she's not asking for an apology. She just wants the man to face charges. A fit of rage caught on camera, nearly knocking this condo security guard off her feet. I'm surprised I didn't fall down because... Um, the impact was really hard. Happening just after 2 this morning at the 630 North Franklin condos in River North. So a Stigler says she was just trying to help this man who appeared to be passed out on the sidewalk in front of her building. I said, are you okay, sir? And he said, yeah, I'm okay. I said, well, I'm going to need you to get up because you can't lay right here. So he didn't get up. Minutes later, the man now standing, surrounded by friends, loses his cool when she says she told the group to move away from the building. He did not say one word. He just walked up to me, threw the bottle of water, and pow, hit me in my face. Then he and his friends just casually walk away like nothing ever happened. You really need to be ashamed of yourself. You should have never hit anyone, not because I'm a female, but because I'm a human being. You shouldn't hit a person that's doing their job. Assad Khan, the president of the condo board, is hoping this surveillance video helps Chicago police. I hope they catch, catch this man. coward. Your own size, and if you can't handle your liquor, then just don't drink. Now this mother and new grandmother is out of the hospital, nursing a broken nose and black eye on Mother's Day. My reaction was, how could this happen? You know, what would make a person do this? You don't know how much damage you have done to me. And I pray that um, they find you. She will find out in the coming days if she's going to need surgery. The Texans are here right now. They're inside the building getting that surveillance video. Again, tonight, no one is in custody. We're and so I want to address the fact that the media has blurred out the faces of these other white hoodlums because that's what they are. They sat there and witnessed this savage beating from this drunk coward. And they sat there and did nothing. They didn't say nothing. They didn't stop him. They just all watched. And that's why I'm kind of like wondering why is it that this racist media, why they blotted out their faces? Because those are, um, they're an accomplice and they should be charged with something as well. Because, you know, if this, these were black people, that's exactly what the media and what people would be saying. They would say, they would be saying that all of them should be charged. And all of these little hoodlum thugs and thuggets. They should be charged as well. They sat there and watched this drunk, coward, idiot attack a woman instead of attacking somebody his own size. What a coward. But see, his white friends, that their faces are blurred out, they're just as bad. They're, they're just as to blame. Now see, black people, if we sit there and watch, they won't blot our faces out. They'll say, no, you should... They, they should be charged too. They always do that. But see, for them, they get white privilege. And then these stupid ass white racists come on my channel and sit there and say, no, you guys are racist. You know what? Fucking kiss my ass. This video is not going to be monetized. I don't care how you feel about it. This is 
fucked up. I'm out.